Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura and I'm often asked, what is subscribe? How do you subscribe? And what do you mean the instructions are in the description? I can't seem to find them. Well, I'm going to answer these questions and show you exactly how easy it is to find this information. Now, this is good not only for my channel, but any YouTube channel that you want to subscribe to. So let's start with just a couple of the basics. Up at the top, you're going to find a search bar and in there you're going to be able to type the company that you want, the channel you want, or a video content that you want. So in my case, I'm going to search for my husband's fishing channel and it's Thunder Mist Lures. Then I'm going to be able to click right there on that magnifying glass and it's going to take me to his channel. All of the videos that he has put out is in a long line and I'm going to be able to search through all of those videos until I find the one that I want. But up at the top, you will find the video that refers to the entire channel. A lot of times you're going to find ads to come up, but the video will come right after the ads. And often you're going to be able to skip the ads if you want. In this case, the subscribe button is right here. Sometimes you'll find it at the side of the page. Sometimes you'll see it right inside the video. And that is the button that you just click to subscribe. So I'm just going to click that. It's changed color. Now you will see right here beside it a bell. Now that bell is going to be able to do something for you. And it's a personal choice if you want to do it. When you click that bell, you're going to have a little window that opens up. And it's going to ask you if you want notifications from this particular company. Do you want YouTube to send you a notification when they put out a new video. It's not the company, it's all done through YouTube. The company does not have control over, yes, I'm going to send this to a person or no. It's all up to you by using this box. If not, you're still going to see the videos, but they're going to be in a different area. This is going to send them to an email so you know you have a new video to watch. And just click your save and anytime you can change that you're just going to go into that bell and they'll have that window pop up and you'll uncheck mark it and push save. So now I have successfully subscribed to his channel. So once you've subscribed when you go back into YouTube you're going to see a little list here. It's going to give you lots of information right here along this edge. When a video comes out if you've not seen it yet when you open up YouTube, it lets you know you have not watched a video that you have subscribed to. When you come closer to the bottom, you're going to see all the channels that you have subscribed to. Those numbers are also telling you they have a new video out that you have not seen. So what subscribing does is it just gives you this little table of contents, just like you would have in a regular TV guide. They're all right there for you to click on when you need them. So I can click on any of these buttons and it's going to take me right to the channel that I want. So if I want to see the latest video from Bernina, I'm just going to click that and it's going to take me right to that latest video. As the most part, YouTube channels are free, so it's not going to cost you anything and there's no contact that you really have with the person who puts on the channel. For example, I don't see who has subscribed. It is something that is for you, not for me. It is so that you are going to be able to navigate and get to what you want to see quicker. So let's click on a video and talk about how to find the information in the video. There's lots of information and lots of different things you can do within that video. The very last button looks like four corners of a block. What that does is it takes this picture and it blows it up to the entire screen. So you're watching the video as if you're watching TV. So I'm going to click on that full screen and I get the entire video. If you want to go back to that small size, you just need to push the escape button on your keypad. And when you push that, it comes back to the small video. 
but there's also a little thing that looks like a piece of paper. When you push that piece of paper, it's going to give you closed captioning. YouTube is translating the words that I'm saying into written words. Now, they're not always 100% accurate, but it's as close as they can get. So you're going to be able to read along with the video if you can't understand what is being said or you can't hear it. And again, just clicking it will turn it right back off. If you want to find out the information about the video, you need to go into the description box, which is at the bottom of that video. The description boxes are quite small, but if you want to see everything in that description box, there's a little button here that says show more. And when you click that, it opens up a bigger screen. In there, you're going to find links and they're highlighted into a different color. And that's where you're going to be able to get your patterns or the links to other things. And by clicking on it, it's going to open up a new tab with the information that you need. And in this case, it is the pattern. So you're going to be able to print that pattern out. And if you want to leave that on your screen and go back to the video, just click on that top tab and it's going to put this behind and put the video in the front. There's another little feature that's quite new on YouTube and you'll notice that the videos along the side of the page will have a little red line underneath the video. That red line is indicating that you have started the video and where you've left off. If you've watched the whole video, the red line will be all the way to the end. If you've only watched a couple of minutes, it's going to stop there. There's also a little button up here called Share. By clicking on that, it's going to open up all of these icons. So you can take that video and put it right on your Facebook so that your friends can see it. If you've watched a video before and you don't remember where you've seen it or where you can get it, there's a History button. And when you click that History button, it's going to give you a list of all the videos that you have watched. And try all of the different buttons that you see. It might be something that you'll find very beneficial to yourself. And if it's something you don't want, you don't have to worry about it. You just need to push that back button and you're going to get back to what you originally did. YouTube has made it so very easy for you to navigate. Thank you for asking your questions. I really appreciate it because that way I know what you want to see. And thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see where we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.